you know, turns out uh, that the comet flies into the sun before the sun supernova. So I thought maybe we had a few minutes. Uh, we did not. That is the end of us. But was proof of concept. The interloper does. It's 31 kilometers away. It's so far away from the sun. So it must get close to the sun at some point. Do we really want to kind of... <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, we need to find a time when the interloper is at a reasonably close proximity to the sun where the ice cracks. But you can hear it. It looked interesting, that's for sure. It's not that big. You know, it really isn't that big. Don't wanna crash into it, 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 don't wanna crash into it. Come on! Oh, we're gonna crash into it. We're definitely gonna crash into it. Fly by. The interloper is a law unto itself. I guess it changes direction because its own gravitational pull is so weak. Like it's a, it's just a, a astral body that's flying around. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly hard to get onto on board the interloper. Okay, so we did find a way in, the way in, arguably, but it only opens up when it, we are close to the surface of the sun. Are we just gonna have to sit here? The problem is that um, the giant's deep might be here. Wish I had some better, don't I have a? Ha ha! <laughs> yes, I do have a star map. So where's Giant's Deep? You fiend, Giant's Deep. You fiend. Ah, I see. Okay, so I didn't understand what was happening for the interloper. Now I get it. So the interloper's got this sort of very elliptical pattern of uh, rotating around the sun. It does take it close to Giant's Deep, but probably not on this loop, on the next one. And it takes it so close to the sun that when the sun is a giant red ball of fire, uh, it actually becomes problematic. I understand the issue now. I understand the issue now. Oh, was that a click? Nope, that was me clicking in. It's opening! So we actually have to be very careful, right? Because... Yeah, we have to be very careful because the sun, we're going to be very close to the sun shortly. Oh no. Is that ghost matter? Oh, great. Ghost matter is fun. Um, oh, come on. Is this air, though? Can I... Oh, this is... This is tight. Uh, that looks like it's going to be ghost matter in the entrance. Where are we in the, in the move? Okay. We don't have a lot of time. This is this is difficult, man. Okay, it's ghost matter down there. There is ghost matter down there, but I don't think it's in a place that we can't go. So let's go. Oh, 
hole. We avoid the hole. Bing! Tons of ghost matter in there. But maybe not up there. Okay, let's keep moving around, keep looking for a way through that does not get me almost immediately killed. Ghost matter in... Oh, yeah, okay. Ghost matter in the left-hand route. And then the right-hand route. And then I don't see none. Yeah, loads in there. That's not where we want to be. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is not a very large. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Oh, we're at the center. We're at the center. Wow, okay. No ghost matter here, but this thing does seem to be able to create ghost matter. Maybe... Wait. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is within the stone. I'm dissecting some sort of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing at least. Pi, I, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As, as far as I can tell, direct contact with it would be almost certainly fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's its more than just profoundly unstable, it's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan, I've, I've never seen anything like this tightly compacted before. Uh, what is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If the stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing this star system almost in instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet... As the comet... Uh... As the comet approaches this star system. Return to the shuttle, right now. The rest of our friends need to know that they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What... What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go, warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Poke! Sorry. Neither of them escaped. So this is what did it. That's why there's ghost matter everywhere. It exploded as it got close to the sun and entered into orbit. It got very close to the sun. And it exploded, sending massive amounts of ghost matter all around the galaxy, all around the solar system, at least, and killed every Nomai here. It killed all of them. Wow. Wow, so it it killed all the Nomai. This is how they died. <laughs> this is what did it. Wow. Well. How in the world do I get out of this hole? No wonder they couldn't escape. Even now, the place is just filled with ghost matter at every turn. Damn. These poor folks. They literally just got 
trapped here. They couldn't get out. Oh, it literally exploded as they tried to go. Look at this. Just covered in crystals. Damn, poke and pie. No! I guess we knew they were dead. I mean, we can't really mourn them, but... But gosh. So what do we do now? Like... I mean, that we could find our way back, maybe, but... But we are going to fly into the sun long before I manage it. Well, alright. Then we go as Poke and Pie went. We give ourselves over to the ghost matter. And we restart time. Which means... Giant's Deep. All right, off we go once again into space. We're going all over the place. <laughs> okay, apologies. Um, yeah. Well, next up, the next thing we need to do is to go to the Giant Steep. Giant Steep is a really big, really far away planet that is very, very big. Should be able to see it from miles away. Should be able to see it from miles away. <laughs> uh, yeah, should be able to see it from miles. Where is this thing? Behind you. So if this is here, this is here. Giant Steep should be there. <laughs> so to Giant Steep we go. Um, I don't know. Let's go exploring. Uh, we've uh, we have been to Giant Steep before. We've been to the North Pole of Giant Steep, which was where the giant storm is. And then there's a boatload of other storms on the South Pole. And we sort of started exploring those a little bit. Let's take a proper look. These things, yeah, clearly got destroyed. <gasps> wait a second, 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 wait a second. Is this the cannon? Is this the orbital probe cannon? Right, this is the orbital probe cannon. Did it get destroyed by something getting catapulted off the surface? Land. This is the orbital probe cannon, I'm sure of it. We wondered what this thing was. Ugh, that looks like a black hole, but it isn't. One, two, and three, what are they? Launch module. Control module. This one's broke. The probe tracking module, which appears to have been slung into space. Interesting. Very interesting. Intriguing. What just happened? Huh? Pro 
rogue launch module? Wait, 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 wait. What? Okie dokie. That makes little sense. Let's pop it in here. Mallow. My better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. So there, of course. The sort of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me that he and the construction yard crew have determined to power setting we are not, under any circumstances, to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit that with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures. So, I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Intriguing. Intriguing. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the process power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certainly. Uh, they aren't certain they can fix the problems, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears idea may feel responsible. So, yeah, the cannon never... The cannon never fired. Kind of, sort of, kind of, baby, maybe, baby knew that. Hey, what is this? You know, when they put together these, like, really big things. It fires the probe. But it has now broken. Oh, wait, was that the point? Orbiter Probe Cannon, launch request received, probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbiter Probe Cannon structure compromised during launch due to multiple modules detected. Wait, damage to multiple modules. So it fired the probe. It did what it's supposed to do. It fires the probe, that's the first thing we see, of course it is. Makes perfect sense. Orbital probe cannon damage report. Severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage to modules. Control module intact. Launch module. Viewport window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Probe tracking module missing. Okay, so there's a probe tracking module somewhere that is currently very much missing. Is this the module? Sure. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Okie dokie. So, so this is the cannon that fires. The thing is, I'm still not entirely certain I understand. Like, why does it need an orbital probe cannon to fire to collect data? They're clearly trying to find the eye of the universe with it, but why? It needs to fire as fast and as far as it can and then sends the data back. So they're trying to find the eye of the universe using an infinite a number of probes, right? They're firing this thing every 22, every 22 minutes. Launch module, let's take a look. Yeah, okay, that's not looking too hot, is it? get into the launch module. Apparently the front window is sort of damaged, so maybe I can get into the launch window from outside. Uh, yeah, well, maybe we could do. Is this the, uh, control module? Not the control module, want the missing one. This is the missing one. So it broke, and it shot into space. That's bad news. Uh, Yeah, I 
don't want to get sort of sucked onto the planet though. So let's go find my ship. Whew. Okay. I think that's what the probe module was designed to do. They were trying to find the eye of the universe. That's what the 22 minutes was all about. They weren't just trying to go back in time. This is the, uh, this is the window. It's broken. So going in here might actually be worthwhile. I can't be certain. Well, my ship seems to be floating off, but not far, so let's make this quick. Ugh, goodness, where are we? Control module projection stone. No, no, not this kind of projection. Oh, goodness, not this kind of projection. I never understand what these things are. Uh, here. The tracking module. Tracking module is going to be important. Mallow, we're better by 50%. They're saying, sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively soon, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases our temperature. Yeah, we've seen this one. Uh, what about this one? Tracking module. This is important. Ma imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it... Yeah, okay, so who minds if it comprises the orbital probe's cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we won't be able capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. So the probe tracking module will be receiving the data. Where is the probe tracking module? Wow, this is what it looked like before. How cool, including a stone, which is now gone. So this does actually make a, ship is only 46 meters away, that's good. So this does make a huge amount of sense. They, this is the point of the whole thing they were trying to do. They were trying to create a probe that could shoot incredible distances in very short period of time. Ship. 47 to 46. Yeah, where exactly is it? So they were trying to create a a probe that could... Where is this ship? <laughs> a probe that could fly very far distances, like powering it with huge amounts of energy in order to shoot the thing into space and get it to, like, find the eye. And they could fire it in all kinds of different places because they would just move time back 22 minutes every time it landed or every time it went they didn't find anything. So they'd just keep on firing the thing to find what they needed. This is cool. So this is the point, this is what they were trying to do but it never worked, it was never successful. How weird, right? Ah, oh, that's so, really so strange. Watch out, don't crash. Is there anything here? Like, is there actually any, oh fuck, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Wait a second, did this all catapult me into the planet? Can I? Uh, no! Apparently you can't do what I was trying to do there. What is the function of my being here, then? Can I not...? I mean... So the core is this electrical thing. this. 
a jellyfish. The jellyfish are immune to the electrical signals, right? So we should be able to get into the core using a jellyfish. Although, the phrase using a jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be the master alarm. Yep. Uh, the reactor has been damaged, everyone. I don't know what the reactor being damaged means, but probably nothing good. How do I find my way into this place? Oh! <laughs>